Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November the 21st of 2020, well, it is titled Mars and Meteor over Jade Dragon Snow Mountain. So what do we see here? Well, this is a couple of things up in the sky, including the planet Mars. And that's the bright red glow almost to the center of the frame. And that is the uh, one of the planets similar to Earth, what we call the terrestrial planets. And those are the planets that we could land on those that have solid surfaces. And that includes uh, Mercury and Venus, as well as Earth and Mars. Now we've actually have landed to one way or another on all of those planets, although the landing on Mercury was more of a crashing when the messenger spacecraft reached the end of its life. And Mars, we of course have landed on many times, uh, including rovers that are currently there, such as Curiosity and the new rover that is on its way to Mars right now. Now, in this case, we also see a meteor. A meteor is the streak of light we see, and that is a tiny bit of a comet generally. And what happens is when comets come close to the sun, their material is vaporized from their surface. And because they are small and have very low gravity, they are unable to hold on to that material. So it just re removes itself from the comet and continues to orbit the sun just as the comet did. When the Earth moves through the debris left behind by that comet, then many of those pieces will strike the Earth's atmosphere at a high speed and will then vaporize. And that's what we're seeing is a vaporization trail of a small piece of a comet, just the size of a small pebble or a grain of sand that is burning up in the Earth's atmosphere as it hits that atmosphere. Now the comets will appear to come from one specific part of the sky for each meteor shower. And while you cannot see it with one meteor, this one will actually point towards the constellation of Leo. So it is it appears that they all come or radiate from this specific area of the sky. And that's because all of the bits of the comet are following essentially the same orbit. So when they strike the Earth's atmosphere, they will appear to come from the same direction. And on the curved sky, that will then make them appear as though they are converging off in the distance, much as distant railroad tracks or telephone poles will appear to converge off in the distance. So here we see Mars as the brighter object as well as the streak of light from the, one of the Leonid meteors in the sky in our picture for today. So that was our picture of the day for November the 21st of 2020. It was titled Mars and Meteor over Jade Dragon Snow Mountain. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be dark marking on the sky. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.